Good morning. It is cosplay for a cause. Time to celebrate Pomacon, and you can be a superhero for some cute animals. My favorite segment and my favorite person, Jessica, is here. She's rounded up some of uh, her furry friends so we can preview this unique virtual event. First of all, good morning, Jessica. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Who do you have in your hands there? This is Wonder Pup, of course. She's a very sleepy Wonder Pup, but I do promise you she can save lives. She's such a cuddle, but hey, even superheroes need to nap, that's for sure. Exactly. So exactly. we know Pomacon, obviously this year, I mean, do I even need to say it? It's going to be different. It's going to be virtual. First of all, maybe for those who don't know, tell us about Pomacon. Yeah, so this is the ninth year Helen Woodward Animal Center celebrates the superhero action of adopting, saving the life of an orphan pet, and the way that these animals save us right back. And of course, we are paying homage to the incredible Comic-Con that goes on every year. It is such a San Diego staple <laughs> and something that we all celebrate. And we were kind of noticing that when people wait in line outside of Comic-Con for days and days to meet their favorite superhero, I was running through a lobby once and I saw these animals and they were all lined up to get checked in. Uh, they'd come from another shelter and they were hoping to meet their superhero rescuer. And I thought, guys, there's such a, a neat parallel. So we started Comic-Con years ago and it has absolutely taken off. It gets worldwide acclaim now and last year comic-con the comic-con museum hosted the event it was huge we had hundreds of people down there enjoying the pause play for pets and and the fact that they all had rescue pets and uh this year of course with covid things have changed oh so my gosh we're virtual this year we're not gonna let it in so you've been showing we've been airing these pictures of the pups in their costumes they're so cute my heart is breaking so tell us how this year is going to be different so of course it's online, but you know, there's some really cool things that came out of, you know, as, as everybody's finding when we have to change with the, the COVID situation, we're kind of creating, people have to think out of the box and create some brand new things. So one of the things that's really cool is this year we we're gonna do panels like they do at Comic-Con, but because we're doing our panels online, we're able to get people from all over the country. So we've got eight different really unique panels, um, different things like Pets on Set with Joe Camp, who had, uh, he started the Benji show, if anybody remembers yes. Benji, and he'd yeah. be talking about what it was like to find an orphan dog and make him into a star. One of my favorite panels that we're gonna be doing is social media pets. I'm a huge fan of Tuna Melts My Heart. Uh, people know Nala Cat, it's one of the most yes. followed yep. cats. We've got Sunglass Cat and Boogie Shoes. They're all gonna be on a panel talking about what it is about these animals that make them so very special and why people respond, but all sorts of very cool panels. Omniscape is doing a virtual reality experience that you can do. And of course, we're still doing the pause play contest. Yes. We're doing trivia, we're doing games, all sorts of cool things that you can do from home. It's $25 for a ticket and all of it goes to save the life of orphan pets. Now you guys are such an amazing facility. I did, you know, when we were working from home, I was lucky enough to be able to foster. So I, you know, fostered uh, some kittens Perfect. with you and guys. Love you. So you're a superhero. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I mean, <laughs> they save us more than we save them, I think, but it's, you know, tip for tap for sure. Um, so where can people go for more information for Pomacon, which again, kicks off today? Yeah, just go onto animalcenter.org. You do a forward slash Pomicon, but even if you just go right onto animalcenter.org, you're going to see the banner immediately. And you just sign up, get your $25 ticket. And I'm telling you, it is going to do so much for these orphan pets, but you have two days of fun things to participate in. And it's going to be, it's really, you know, as we've been talking, I mean, a lot of, a lot of things are starting to close up again and people are going to be looking for, you know, restaurants are closing, unfortunately, and people are going to be home and, and kind of wondering what to do. And this is such, not only, are you helping orphan pets? It's such a cheerful thing to bring the cuteness of these animals. I know you said you were showing some of the costumes that people people are already starting to submit their cosplay costumes, and we are going to give big prizes to people uh, who win the costume contest. And it gives you something fun to do to think of some creative way. We're actually one of our panels is going to be on cosplay and creating unique costumes right from home. So you can do that, take a cute picture of your pet, submit it. But it's connecting with your animal and connecting with other people who love animals and and know how special they are <laughs> i can't get over it we do have to wrap jessica but i the the pup the wonder pup in your arms is he up for adoption <laughs> yes okay. we'll be up for adoption next week and i'm telling you she's going to be saving some of the, the life of her family that she goes into so we look forward to her saving that family jessica from helen woodward animal center and pomacon which kicks off today virtually thank you guys so much bye wonder thank pup. you so much